This will be Names of God number eight, and it will be left in the seminary folder. Now, we were in the Dake Bible before when we got much of his opinion about uh, Melchizedek. Then what he says in that section, if you look at it carefully, what he says there is that it is very important to go to um, the place where you can find uh, Melchizedek, the uh, thoughts of a, he is a type of Christ. Now that's the page he says to go to next. So I'm going to that page, which is in the Dake Bibles on page 96. And it says here, um, Melchizedek, type, sevenfold type of Christ. And that's in the same verse as we were before. And what he writes here is genealogy. He says, go to Hebrews 7, 6, 3 and 6 with Micah 5, 2. Sacrifice uh, in uh, verse 14, 18 with Luke 22, 14 to 30. Endless priesthood, Psalm 19 with Hebrews 5, 10, 6, 20, 7, 3, 17, 21, and 22 to 28. King priest, Hebrews 7 with Zechariah 6, 12 and 13. Greater than Abraham, Hebrews 7, 4 to 8, with John 8, 55 to 59. King of righteousness, Hebrews 7, uh, 2, with 1 Corinthians 1, 30, and Hebrews 1, 8. King of peace, Hebrews 7, 2, with Isaiah 6, 9. In contrast between... I'm oh, sorry, the contrast between Melchizedek and the Aaronic priesthood is the person, order, and duration. In his sacrificial work, Christ followed the Aaronic, which was merely a shadow of his sacrifice. See Hebrews 8. 1 to 10 and 19. So, in other words, the important point in there is you see what Dake makes of it as how close Melchizedek is to a type of Christ. Now, whether he is Christ or not in his pre incarnate form is not answered directly, but he does say at the end, though that um, in the sacrificial work, sacrificial work, Christ followed the Aaronic, which was merely a shadow of his sacrifice. So he doesn't say Christ follows Melchizedek here, does he? He says it's the Aaronite uh, prophecy, which was in part of this as well. Now, we have not used the the Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek key study Bible for a while because we have been focusing on the Dake Bible. And if you go, though, to that particular chapter in Genesis and Melchizedek and go to that, and it has at the very top of that page in the, the key uh, Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek study Bible, it says right there, Melchizedek blesses Abraham. Now, what you see in this Bible, if you look very carefully, which I am doing now, I am looking very carefully. And what do I see? A little key on verse 18. When you see a key, it's right next to the word Melchizedek. Why is it right before the word Melchizedek? The key means that that's a commentary on that particular verse down at the bottom. So what we're going to do next time, now that we've heard what Dake thinks of the character of Melchizedek, when we go to the ninth one, we will read what this key 
study Bible has to say.